You have some of the women during that time of the month taking might all as if menstrual complaints, menstrual cramps, denote a mydol deficiency. <laughs> you have people who suffer from headaches and take aspirin that eats up your blood, as if aspirin denotes, or that a headache denotes an aspirin deficiency. No part of your body is made up of aspirin. So why are you taking aspirin? No part of your female reproductive chamber is made of mydol. So why are you taking mydol? Why? You're supposed to know everything you're doing. Everything you're supposed to know. That's what consciousness comes into play. So why are you taking these drugs? And like Sister Lakita said, something is going on. And you know, people, it's not a conspiracy. Because they're not hiding anything from us. We just don't read. They tell you on the box or the jar of the so-called medicine, in case of accidental overdose, contact a poison control center. <laughs> and people are so messed up in the mind, they don't even say, well, damn, wait, hold up. <laughs> now, why the hell am I contacting a poison control center? This is medicine, man. Shouldn't it be contact a medicine control center? <laughs> And there is no escape from the matrix. For, for what you run from, you run to. So you gotta learn, it's your health. I mean, we get so many inquiries at dhealthstore.com from people asking us about them. The same thing they do to the white coat butchers that you call doctors. And that too doesn't make any sense when you think about it. I mean, you got people will come up to you. And I'm a herbalist, but they do the same things to doctors, but it's the same principle. Uh, to Tahuti, oh, what's wrong with me? Man, how the hell do I know how to help you? I just don't need you. You don't know what's wrong with you? You live with yourself every day. And if you would just stop to think, you would find out what is wrong with you. You are living against nature. It doesn't make any sense for you to have to go to another human being to ask about yourself. Your health is your responsibility. See, the matrix, they make you lazy. You don't know your constitutional rights because you trust the lawyers. You don't know nothing about help. You trust the doctors. This is a service-oriented society that makes you handicapped, dependent on others to your own doom and detriment. And it ain't nobody's fault but yours. You can learn about your health. You can learn about the proper medicine. I'm not anti-medicine. I'm just against the pharmaceutical medicine. As Sister Lakita said, or she talked about contraindications with drugs and her. Don't you know there would be no contraindications if you just stopped taking the poison that you call drugs?
radiation, you're just going to fry your skin. Like you're frying bacon in a skin. You're just going to fry it. Because the doctor said so. Now how wise, how smart is that? Comedy, blood thinner. Every drug that you take, there is the herbal alternative that came before the drug. Mm -hmm. And see, the plant or the botanical or the herbaceutical or the herb has no adverse side effects. It has an effect, but it's not adverse. So you know we in bad shape when you can watch a television commercial about a drug and they read off, all, well not all, but some of the adverse side effects. <coughs> People, do you not hear this stuff here? Taking this drug, green gonna look blue, erection problems, nose gonna run, <laughs> menstrual, problem, menstrual cycle gonna last 14 days, <laughs> nose bleed. What? And people still take this stuff? That's scary. That's scary, people. The drug has 50 adverse side effects, but the plant, the noble plant, has 50, at least 50, beneficial effects. You can't go wrong with the plant because the plant is carbon and carbon based just like us. The plant has intelligence. That's why you can't overdose on a herd. See, 1986 was the year the United States government began tracking the deaths related to herbal consumption. And the number per year of deaths due to herbal consumption has been, even to this day, is zero. Zero. But the drugs kill anywhere between 400,000 and a million people per year, and it's called iatrogenics. Doctor, physician, induced death. License to kill. And you can even get mad at the doctors. All these people talking about, yeah, the doctors, you know, they're the butchers, they cut you up, man. The doctors are crazy, man. And in the same breath will tell you, yeah, I got a doctor appointment next week. <laughs> people are crazy. You, you, I'm telling you, you will not make it in this matrix being crazy. <laughs> you will not. You will die because death is a business. Caskets cost money. Funerals cost money that most people don't even have. It's a business. Everything is a business. And in the matrix, business thrives off of your ignorance. You have to stop ignoring the pertinent information, the correct information. And there's a lot of people brainwashed about the plants, the herbs, as if the herb is going to mess them up. People ask the wrong questions to the wrong people. You come to the herbalist with your concerns. Asking us, what does a herbal formula consist of? I mean, they will call us up and ask us, you know, what are the ingredients of this formula? See, and stuff like that gets to me, because I can't really deal with ignorance. And I'm like, sap suck, you got some nerves to call me and ask me what the hell these herbs are made up of. And your monkey behind never called Kentucky Fried Chicken. And that's the I mean, the sap suckers got the nerve. Look at that, look at the bottle, and like, yeah, my little head, my head collapsed. Just, uh, yeah, my brother, uh, yeah, if I could take this, I'm, I'm gonna have to consult my doctor. <laughs> Oh, you do crack cocaine. <laughs> Did you first consult your doctor before doing crack cocaine? You smoke cigarettes. Before you started, did you consult your doctor? You just ate a whole box of dozen of jelly glazed donuts. Did you first consult your doctor? But when it comes to the plants, the herbs, 
They all philosophical now. They all in the hell. Well, I gotta consult my doctor. And the fool ain't been to the doctor in 30 years. I gotta first consult my doctor about the plants, the herbs that the animals consume. It's crazy. Everything you may be dealing with, there is a plant that is a herb for you. These birth control pills, they came from wild yam root. The word drug goes back to a word that means drug, or that is drug that means dried plant. Now, is your aspirin made up of a dried plant? Don't get it twisted. The original drug is a plant. You got erection problems? The plants for you. You got menstrual problems? They're, they're herbs, they're plants for you. Fibroid tumors. They're plants for you. Always have been, always will be. Now, if we don't step up our game, they will actually ban those plants. Have banned a few of them. And then we we'll all be like in that movie THX, 1138. And Equilibrium, Gattaca. These are not just movies just to put out there and entertain you. They're messages in them. I'm going to end because I want to take a few questions. But before I do, I want to put emphasis because I know there are people out there taking certain things for high blood pressure. Now, first of all, if you didn't do certain things, you wouldn't have high blood pressure. But I know we in the matrix, life is rough. You know, we really shouldn't be drinking and smoking and doing the things that we do because it goes against nature. But I understand, we, you know, we're, we're trying to cope. You know, we want to be successful hamsters on a treadmill for a while. But we're doing things that go against nature. So. I mean, before you take that drastic step to really get back to homeostasis on all levels, you would do yourself a big favor. And I'm not telling anybody what to do. Just think about it. Do your research. But these pharmaceutical drugs, research them. Find out all of the adverse side effects. And then look for the alternative. Because it would do wonders for you. Birth control pills, high blood pressure, erection problems, what it is, they are herbs for you. If you want more information about herbs, contact us at dhealthstore.com. Our information is in the back. Are you ready to promote your vision and reach your target audience? IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com is the platform for your vision to be heard. For more information on how to advertise or become a special guest on our radio show, go to IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com. Click on IB Race for more information. We're looking forward to expanding your vision. IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com.